Hey guys, this is a really short video. I just wanted to show you something interesting going on. This ties back into my camouflage video. And that is that I have a blue Japanese endler and it is a uh, domesticated or selectively uh, bred variety. And something interesting is going on. So this male is full grown endler and chasing a bluegrass guppy, which I really want to cross. But now this endler has had blue with the yellow on it. And then it's had purple up by the head. Now, all of a sudden today, it has been relentlessly bugging this female and it has begun to flash this green eye on its side. And it's just really beautiful. You can still see that purple iridescent sheen, uh, but I just wanted to point out to you guys that this is what I was talking about with hormone changes. So the fish is actually sensing that it really wants to make its move and look good and it's trying to get in with its chance to breed with the females. And even though there's a female of of the same species, uh, an endler that's in here, uh, he is really going after that female guppy, the bluegrass, even though he's so much smaller. And uh, the way that that color change, which is adaptive camouflage or adaptive color mimicry, is going on is there are cells in the fish's skin underneath the scales so there's iridophores which cause that um, that look of uh, shimmering silver um, or iridescence and those are always present but underneath that there are chromatophores and apparently in this dark spot that always appeared as blue or black the area surrounding it also has green chromatophores, um, possibly yellow and blue chromatophores, but this looks like a true green to me. So seeing as other guppies do have green chromatophores, even though it's not common in all fish, uh, it's pretty cool to see <laughs> uh, this little guy is really trying to put on his best show, as is this uh, flame tail has got blue coming out in its body and really strong flame colors including some pink coming up in the back of the tail that were not present even just earlier today. So this is just kind of an interesting little uh, way that fish uh, try to make themselves look like, hey I have the the metabolic energy to to change color and I am bright and I am flashy and I'm healthy and so something has changed either in the water I haven't done any water changes or anything lately but the fish are feeling feisty and they know that that female is ready uh, she's pregnant already but they are really going after her um, her in particular even over the other female in the tank um, there's another female there uh, but they're really going after her and they're using their biomimicry of color changing and they're not using this for survival. In fact, this is the opposite of trying to hide from a predator. This is brightening up and using those iridophores to have more uh, guanine and guarine in, in the cells, which then cause them to be more shimmery and more uh, bright and beautiful, which gets the attention of the female fish, um, in theory, and will probably increase their chances to mate. So just an interesting little uh, tidbit going on here. It looks like now he's trying to mate with the female endler that is in the tank. Um, and I'm very curious to see who wins out between the flame tail and the other endler. The, uh, the result of these uh, new batch of guppies should be interesting, especially considering that the females can hold multiple inoculations um, or inseminations, I should say, from different uh, males. So they can hold on to that sperm and fertilize their eggs uh, up to three pregnancies out, if not more, if not the rest of their life, according to some people. Uh, 
And so if she decides that he's worthy due to the color show going on, there is a good chance that the next brood will be full of little Japanese blue endlers, which I would be really happy about. Now you can see that he is turning colors as we speak. Some of it's just an aspect of catching the light, but now he has turned his entire left side green, if you can see that in the right light. And this is a change going on before our eyes and very cool to, to catch on camera. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I've gone over some of the elements of these color change things and the water parameters, the geology, the botany, all of that hiding in your tank right in front of you. Um, but I just thought this was another good one. So watch your fish, see what they're doing. If they're acting funky, if you know your fish well enough to see, to say that they were acting out of character, uh, perhaps something like this is going on and you can catch it. And uh, it's, it's one of nature's most amazing processes. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. And I hope you have a great day. Keep on swimming. Don't forget to like or uh, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy these posts and what I have to say. And I hope you all uh, have the best of luck with your fish and keep an eye out for crazy little things like this in nature in our own aquarium. Good night, guys.